Welcome to the Sky Fortress, where the mad robot Norton is holding our friends hostage. In order to complete the Sky Fortress levels, we just need to collect all of the wheels, of which there are 20. This one isn't too bad. We just have to drive right up the half pipe. And then use our momentum to jump across this ramp and get the wheels. You do have way less time here than you do for normal gameplay, but it's also a much shorter level. I'd hesitate to even call it a level by itself. But yeah, it's nothing difficult. They even have a handy white line so they can show you exactly where you should be headed to to jump off the ramp. The last wheel is on this grind rail. But after you get that last wheel, who cares, you can just fall right off. Look, the child's fine. I didn't kill a child. Alright, so we unlock Daryl, and we're going to use Daryl to finish the second Sky Fortress challenge. And then we're going to stop playing, because you've pretty much seen everything the game has to offer. And as you can see, this is just a slightly altered version of the Sky Fortress level we already played. I think Daryl has a pretty cool aesthetic, though. I dig his green backpack and his alien shirt. It's pretty cool. But yes, this is virtually the same except for the falling platforms, which, with everything you've done so far, is not a big deal in the slightest. So I really wish I had something to say about this game's design or its presentation or anything about it, but I really don't. What you saw is what you get, and there's no, there's nothing to talk about here besides that. So after we're finished here, we're just going to watch the ending, which I'm sure that's not very interesting either. Thank you. 
Thank you.